to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. As always, it is great to be with you today to encourage you to partner with you and to motivate you to pray. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled Just For Today by Sybil F. Partridge. Lord, for tomorrow and its needs, I do not pray. Keep me, my God, from stain of sin just for today. Help me to labor earnestly and duly pray. Let me be kind in word and deed, Father, today. Let me no wrong or idle word unthinking say. Set thou a seal upon my lips through all today. Let me in season, Lord, be grave with encouraging words to say. Let me be faithful to thy grace, dear Lord, today. And if today this life of mine should ebb away, give me thy help divine, Father, today. So for tomorrow and its needs, I do not pray. Still keep me, guide me, love me, Lord, through this day. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator verse from the Word of God. Today is Psalm 143, 1, which reads, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. Our prayer motivator quote today is from R.A. Torrey. He said, those persons who know the deep peace of God, the unfathomable peace that passeth all understanding, are always men and women of much prayer. Amen, somebody. Our prayer motivator devotional today is part one of a new series titled, Jesus in Gethsemane is our example of how we ought to pray. This most striking example of the Savior's surrender to the will of the Father is when he was bowed down in the Garden of Gethsemane under the weight of the sins of the world. When his soul was exceeding sorrowful, even unto death, he said in Matthew twenty six thirty eight. And when his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground, there Jesus prayed and in Matthew twenty six twenty nine, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Then again he prayed in Matthew twenty six forty two, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Then a third time we are told he prayed, saying the same words. 
facing the most awful suffering without hesitation, Jesus said to his Father and our Father, Not as I will, but as thou wilt. But this scriptural incident has been greatly misunderstood. Many, pardon me, many have taught that here the Lord Jesus was begging the Father that he might not uh, have to go to the cross and only reluctantly submitted to the thing he did not want to do and tried to avoid. That's what some teachers and some scholars uh, have taught down through the years. Some commentators have supposed that Jesus thought there might be some other way to save sinners besides the cross. But all of this seems foolish in light of the clear teaching of the Word of God. Join us in our next broadcast as we uh, take a look at uh, some of those other scriptures that show us how Jesus prayed and how we ought to also follow his example. Now, friend, it is time for us to pray. Please remember the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request uh, at the end of this broadcast. If you want us to pray for you, uh, we, uh, if you send in your prayer request, we guarantee that we will pray for you until you tell us to stop. Uh, we take it that seriously. Now, friend, please join me in prayer. Holy Father God, as we continue in prayer, Lord, we are weak and feeble, but Thou art strong. We pray for spiritual, mental, and physical grace and strength for the journey throughout this day and throughout our lives. And Holy Father God, we pray that you would have mercy and grace upon us and forgive us of any sin in our lives. Fill us afresh and anew with the fullness and the power of your Holy Spirit. And Holy Father God, help us to use the example of Jesus Christ in our uh, prayer life. Help us to pray like you, Lord. Help us to pray, let your will be done, and not ours. We pray also that you would bless and guide all pastors and churches and missionaries and evangelists around the world. Save them, bless them, lead them, guide them, direct them, and use them for your glory, praise, and honor. Lord, we pray for all church leaders, all pastors, evangelists, missionaries, individuals uh, who serve in other capacities. And Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray uh, for all people who are in governmental leadership. We pray for the president. We pray for all uh, people in Congress uh, and uh, not only in this country but leaders around the world that we may lead peaceful lives in this sin-cursed world. Now Lord we pray for three people who have sent in their prayer requests uh, from our long uh, prayer list. We've chosen three to pray on this broadcast for the sake of time. Lord, we pray for Kimberly, bless her mother and her family, strengthen the minds of the youth in this world and have them to represent uh, the future uh, well. Lord, we pray for G. Vaisi in Kerala State, India, bless him and his family, provide financially for the Southern Curry powder industry 
and company. And Lord, we pray for Rochelle in New Jersey. Help her friend to find a good teaching job and to continue to trust in you to provide for her and her family uh, and the every need that they have. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the following people who have a version of the faith, uh, who have uh, trusted you as their Savior. We pray, Lord, that you would confirm them in the faith and have them to grow in the faith to become the strong Christians that you want them to be. We pray for Juan in South America. We pray for Lakeisha in Portsmouth, Virginia, and we pray for Brenda in Arizona. Now, Lord, we pray also for the following people who have been saved for a while, but who have chosen to rededicate their lives to you through this ministry. We pray for Ivan, we pray for Rose in Louisiana, and we pray for Ganuka in India. We thank you, Lord, for them making this decision. We pray that you encourage them to repent of their sins and to turn away from evil in their lives as well. And we pray that you would help them to keep their commitments to you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, please notice the Word of God. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, friend of mine, if you're willing to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior today, please pray with me the following simple prayer. Just repeat it after me. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life forever. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart and you are so inclined, uh, feel free to contact us and get a hold of our, a free copy of our little pamphlet called What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This little pamphlet will be a great help to you as you start your new Christian life. Until next time. Remember, dear friend, pray, thank, do. God bless you.